Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. In MS Word, editing restrictions refers to a feature you use to limit changes in order to maintain standard formatting, protect sensitive information, and more. It's easy to turn it off, but usually requires a password, which can be inconvenient if you've forgotten or can't access it. In this video, I will show you three different methods to edit a protected Word document even if you don't have access to its password. Let's go. A single document is a collection of XML files that contain various components such as text, formatting, metadata, and most importantly, the settings that contain any restrictions placed on the file. Note that this method is only applicable to the docx file type, which is the default file format since MS Word 2007. Therefore, if your file is in doc format, either convert it to docx first or skip to the next timestamps to try other methods. Follow the next steps to convert your file from doc to docx. Open your file in Word. Click the File menu and select Save As. Before saving, be sure to select Word Document from the Save As Type drop-down menu. To start bypassing the document settings, go to the File Explorer window and click View on the toolbar. Expand the Show option and check file name extensions. After enabling the specific configuration, the next step is to convert the document into a zip file. Click the protected document twice to start renaming. Add the zip extension after docx and confirm the file type switch. Next, double click the compressed file to open its contents. Locate the Word folder and delete the settings.xml file. Once deleted, rename your document again and remove the zip extension to convert it back to a Word file. When you open it, you should now be able to edit it without restriction. If you have problems with some features not working, like in my case the checkboxes aren't clickable, protect the file again, but this time don't set a password. Afterwards, everything worked fine and is the same as other methods. Alternatively, you can convert the protected document to a rich text format, or RTF, to override the file's password protection and remove the restrictions. Open the document in Word. Click File and choose Save As. In the Save As Type drop-down list, set it to Rich Text Format and then Save. After converting, right-click the RTF document and open it with Notepad or another plain text editor of your choice. Press the Ctrl and F keys to open the Finder window and search for Password Hash. Replace it with No Password and click the Ctrl and S keys to save your changes. After overriding the password protection, open the RTF document in Word. Go to the Review ribbon and select Restrict Editing. Click the Stop Protection button in the right pane, and you should be able to remove all restrictions without requiring a password. Once the restriction is off, you have full access to the document for editing. Another effective method I recommend is called Round Tripping. Round Tripping refers to the process of converting a Word document to PDF, and then from PDF back to the docx file type. This method not only removes the restrictions, but also preserves their formatting and styles. To begin, open the document. Go to the File and Print options, respectively. Make sure that Microsoft Print to PDF is selected, and then print the document in PDF format. Once your PDF is ready, open your browser and use an online conversion tool. There are several you can use, but for this video, let's try ilovepdf.com slash pdf underscore to underscore word. Upload the PDF you previously printed. Confirm the conversion and download it to your computer. Once the download is complete, open the converted document in Word, and you should now be able to edit the sections that were previously restricted. Okay, if I've been able to help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. If something didn't work out and you're stuck, check the comments. Maybe someone has solved the problem. 
Otherwise, I can try and help you further. I offer personal support on Fiverr and can give you independent advice. I also offer many other services. Feel free to check them out. You'll find the link in the video description. Until next time, bye.